So I said I was going to do a video about accepting that we have negative thoughts, that you have negative thoughts, that I have negative thoughts. We are only human. Um, it is a massive step in helping one get rid of, or not get rid of, but um, let go of negative thoughts and emotions. So as I explained before, it happens after recognition. Um, and so hopefully you've already watched the uh, video about recognizing that you're having a negative thought. If you haven't, I would probably have, I would advise that you do that. Um, so we assume I'll assume that you have identified a negative thought. Let's say, for example, it's you judge someone. Let's say you walk into somewhere and you see some people you've never seen before and you find yourself judging. Uh, I do that a lot. I'm still guilty of doing that a lot. It's a, it's a very human response. But it's negative, isn't it? I mean, ultimately, it is negative. And here's how um, you could deal with that. You'd feel yourself judging. And you'd let yourself judge. Don't, don't try and stop it. Just feel yourself doing it. Once you've done it, once you've got it out of the way, then look at it and say, okay, I, so I judged. I judged someone. Now I'm going to throw that judgment out the window. Now I'm going to leave that judgment behind. I'm going to let that judgment go. Often your mind, our minds, they go too fast and they're too um, trained, too indoctrinated to stop these things happening. You're not trying to stop because that is putting more boundaries up. You are simply accepting that what you've done is negative. You're not blaming yourself and you're not beating yourself up over it, okay? So you go in, you make a judgment, you make judgments about people. Laugh! Oh man, judging again. Jeez, oh, how do I know these people? I don't. These are, you know, these are knee-jerk reactions, so I'm going to let them go. I'm not going to listen to them, I'm not going to store them, I'm going to let them float away from me. And then, you can look around with new eyes. You can turn your negative into a positive, because you've just laughed with yourself in your head. You've just opened your head, your mind, your conscious space to um, being non-judgmental now, because you've made the judgment and then you've let them go. That, that's it, that is all there is to it, honestly. So much psychology is about language, the language, both subconscious and you know conscious language that we use when dialoguing with ourselves. And if you can dialogue and have a laugh with yourself, so much is easier. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't blame yourself, don't worry. You had a negative thought, you judge people. So does almost everyone else on the planet. You do it because you're human. You do it because you're trained to do it. But how you let it go? You have control now. Let it go. And then enjoy the situation. And no, you know, that's essentially a very, very simple example of how one would let negative thoughts go. I mean, it's kind of a superficial one, I suppose. There's obviously crap ton of really really horrible really deep negative thoughts so let's take another one let's take I want to die I don't know if you've been there I've been there uh, I know many people that have been there and it's been an incredible experience it's horrible when you're there it's crushingly awful but now when now that I can look back, it's a lesson. It was always a lesson, and it's made me who I am now. But while I was in there, I couldn't see that. All I could see was 
the hole that I was in and the spiral that I would continue to go down. So, if you are in that position, if you feel like your life is just not worth living, if you wake up every morning and you wish you hadn't, then this will be harder for you because your whole life pretty much is going to be negative thoughts, self-depreciating, um, recurring, spiraling negative thoughts. But if you're watching this video, then it means you have a sliver of hope, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. It means that deep down inside, you want something to happen. You want there to be a change. You want to be happy. It's just impossible at the moment for you to get there. But know that you do want to get there. And that, my friends, is half the fun. Just like I said, recognizing that you have a negative thought is half the battle to releasing that negative thought. Recognizing that you are in a negative position is half the battle to getting out of that negative position. It might take you a long, long time, but you can see that you're in a negative position. And that means you're fighting. Once you accept it and you no longer fight, that's when you're freeing yourself. We, we have to go through negative things. I firmly believe that part of our mission as emotional beings on this earth is to experience pain. I think we, we've actually asked for it. I think we've come from a, an infinite like like fantastic um, metaphysical world in which we knew everything, we were everything. Um, and in that place we we have there's no need of anything because we know everything and we are everything. So we float there for eternity and eternity gets too much because eternity on on its own is nothing. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but basically you put one thing here and say it's uh, black, very simple. It's not black unless you can put another thing here and say this is not black. How, yeah? And it's the same with eternity, it's the same with your spirit in that, when it is the universe. It is free it is eternal and it is uh, all-knowing, all-loving, but it needs juxtaposition. It needs to physicalize itself. You needed to come to Earth to experience what you're, you're experiencing in order to have been eternal and to be again eternal. I know it's shit most of the time, but it's still life. Life is the key to what this is. You are now real. And every experience you have, whether it's good or bad, is still an experience. And you will, one day, as long as you continue to hold to that, not you know, wanting to do something about it, so hold to wanting to do something about it, you will do something about it. Something will change. But it, you know, it can take a long time. But once you're through, it's so worth it. Everything falls into place. I couldn't be as happy and as free and as open as I am now without having reached a point, without having reached ground zero, without having been completely broken. So good luck in whatever position you're in. Um, and honestly, if you want personal advice, comment, and I will make a video for you, or I will comment for you, but I honestly, all I want to do on this channel is help as many people as I possibly can. I want to give people the lessons that I have learned in the hope that they can be happier, that you can be happier, 
and that you can make other people happier maybe we can make the whole world a happier place seriously it's true just think if you can be more happy then everyone can be more happy and if everyone thinks like that then everyone will be more happy so yeah go ahead comment share whatever you want let's be there for each other Later.